Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it is TGIF fish segment of the week, and yeah, we are back with fish. I think I did shrimp the last couple of weeks, but I'm gonna do catfish like I was grew up. It's kind of like where I grew up eating it. Y'all know I can't get, get to a lot of catfish, and I haven't been fishing in months, y'all, but I have a lot of catfish in my freezer. And if y'all see me online, uh, Captain, so this catfish here, I'm gonna do it like we used to grew up eating it on the bone whole. My daddy and mama, they didn't fillet the fish. They fried it whole in the skillet. Of course, I'm gonna use my deep fryer here. But what I did do differently, they were fried with the skin on it. But I actually skinned this fish. Of course, I gutted it and headed it. And I'm gonna, I took the, I just ripped the skin off. I should have did a video of you, how you do it. All you do, you, you take it, you cut it here, the skin, cut it straight on the side. You get some pliers and the skin is just ripped right off, y'all, on both sides. Very simple, very easy to skin a catfish. If I had a dollar every catfish I skin, I'd be rich. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I got my fryer heating up. I'm going to season this fish with some little cabinets, a little salt and pepper. I got my fish fry here. I'm actually going to soak this in a little. I think I'll use buttermilk. Buttermilk makes it stick better. It, I don't really know. For this fish fry, I really don't have to use no... Uh, milk or nothing because it's got enough moisture. But I'm gonna put a little buttermilk. I'm gonna just hit a little buttermilk and then I'm gonna put my fish fry, shake it in the fish fry here and fry it off until it's ready. Very simple and easy. With the bone on it, it's gonna take maybe 10 15 minutes. If I didn't have the bone on it, it'd probably take six seven minutes. But when it's like this with the bone on it, it takes a little longer to cook. So ain't nothing like good fried catfish on the bone. Anyway, y'all, let me get this fish seasoned up. I got my fry heating up here. We'll be back and throw it in the fry and this, this fish should be ready. T G F fish segment of the week. Just getting started. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We're back here. Fry's heating up here. And like I say, all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna put in this buttermilk. You don't have to do this. I like to put a little buttermilk to kind of make sure the breading actually cleans really well on here. Put it in my bag here and I'm gonna just shake it up. I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna make sure this coating really gets on this fish, y'all. All in the middle and everywhere. All right, shake it off there. Just lay it right in the fry. I'm not gonna use no basket. I'm gonna do the other one the same way, y'all. A buttermilk there. Like I said, if you don't have buttermilk, you can use regular milk. If you need something liquid to make sure it's clean. Just shake it up here in your seasoning. Really, really coated good. Just throw it right in the fryer. Like I say, y'all, it's gonna take 10-15 minutes to cook because it has the bone on it. So we'll be right back here after it's done and we'll show you how it looks. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we back here. Y'all see the fish here, nice golden brown, perfectly cooked. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off here. I let it drain a little, y'all know. I always let your fish drain on a a, a wire rack. That way, um, it doesn't get soggy. So if you're spraying on a paper towel or something, like I've been telling y'all, anything you fry, do not put on a paper towel or anything, because all it's gonna do is make whatever you fry it nice and soggy. So I'm gonna step off here. I'm gonna let this drain. I'm gonna get the fry out the way. And we're going to come back and we're going to try this off, see if I got some tortoise sauce hanging around. And we're going to check it out, see how it is. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Nice and crispy as I showed y'all already, but i show y'all a close-up here. And like I say, y'all can fry this in the skillet. I didn't grow up with a deep fryer. We grew up frying stuff in the skillet. And the way I eat this, y'all, I'll just pick it right off the bone. See how it just flakes right off the bone, y'all? Look at that. Give me some toilet sauce, dip it in. Mm. Crispy. Telling y'all, never had fish on the bone. And y'all already know, anything on the bone is uh, flying away. Anything on the bone has more flavor than not on the bone. I'm about chicken on the bone is better. Ribs on the bone is better. Mm. A little bit more, y'all. Just hot flakes right off the bone, y'all. See that? 
I can eat this whole fish, y'all, I'm telling you. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, y'all, try this out. You never had fish on the bone, and catfish bones are so big, so you ain't gonna worry about getting a bone in your throat, nothing like that. You know, catfish have big bones, so you don't get one lost in there anyway. They don't have small bones in them. But anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Get thumbs up. I never say thumbs up, but y'all do that automatically. Um, please follow my other social media accounts. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022? Helping others with a purpose. The old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed weekend. Love y'all. Bye.